There's been another really interesting development in this story, so watch to the end to find out what's just happened. What is going on with James Newbury? I think a lot of us can actually look at this story and apply this to our lives. So I'm not like fully aware of James Newbury. He's obviously an Australian athlete. I tend to have more of a focus on the females within CrossFit, but this story really interested me and I've seen him popping up on a few different platforms that I follow recently. And then this week I saw this clip. James probably does three CrossFit sessions a week. He goes to a local gym and just does a class. Honestly, James just jumps in and does does what, whatever's going on. If someone's going for a run, then James will join and go for a run. If someone's playing some golf, he'll go and play some golf. If someone's doing some CrossFit, he'll do some CrossFit. But James Newbury has finished up in third place in our region and I am so stoked. He placed third in his region despite not really doing a lot of CrossFit. It sounds like he only does classes three times a week and then he plays golf, he goes for runs, he's been doing like triathlons and marathons and loads of other sports and he just appears to be like dabbling in lots of things. And to me, as somebody that grew up with quite an outdoorsy lifestyle, doing all of the sports and I've got quite an interest in being like a hybrid athlete. This really interests me. I love the term recreational crossfitter and I think I'm going to be adopting that for myself because that is exactly what I am. Now obviously with this story we can't expect to be like getting better and better at crossfit if we see ourselves as a recreational crossfitter and we dabble in lots of different sports. The difference between us and James Newbury is that James Newbury has been doing crossfit for 12 years, he's built that massive base, he's strong, he can do all the gymnastics movements etc. But for somebody like me that actually doesn't really care about getting much better at CrossFit and training for me is about fun and health and not really like progressing on my wall walks. This kind of lifestyle is really attractive to me. I just want to be fit generally and it's really appealing to me that I would be able to not sacrifice those other parts of life that I want to experience and still get fit. I dug a little bit deeper into this hole and I've basically been watching videos on James Newbury all afternoon. I watched this podcast with Fergus who is a hybrid athlete and I watch his channel as well. I'm really interested in his style of training he does a lot of powerlifting as well as like triathlon running swimming etc and they talk about not sacrificing doing other things because of their sport it's just literally whatever fires that person up to do their fucking session that is it if they just love hitting tries hit a try man and go do some deadlifts cool do it if you love going into the gym because you want to go hang out with your buddies and smash a functional fitness class where you're going to do some cleans and box jumps and some double unders and probably do some deadlifts and some snatches and some pull-ups go do that and then if you just want to do everything be my guest do everything and that's pretty much what i do i'll happily go and ride a two-hour bike ride with a bunch of mates and have a blast i'll happily go run a marathon i'll happily go to the crossfit gym and hit a crossfit class that's all i do these days fergus particularly said that when he mostly did powerlifting he would not go and play golf on the weekends because he was worried about how that was going to affect his squat but that's how i used to exist when i was a powerlifter i was worried about long rounds of golf long walks because it would impact my heavy squats and this is relatable because i think a lot of crossfitters experience this like i'm going climbing this week and the reason i've been putting off going and climbing so much recently is because I was worried about how that would impact my training and I was worried about missing a CrossFit session in order to go climbing like does that make me like a bad CrossFitter in some way which is ridiculous thinking about it but does it make me like not committed enough or whatever because I want to do climbing or swimming or paddleboarding one day instead of doing CrossFit and the closer we get to the summer the more guilt I feel about those CrossFit sessions that I want to skip so I can go and do another sport like cycling Cycling. And this whole story has made me realise that actually it's okay to want to do those things and that I shouldn't be sacrificing these very valuable parts of my life in order to be inside a gym when it's nice and sunny outside and there's lots of outdoorsy things I could be doing. And this has been an internal battle I've had for years. So it was really cool to hear James and Fergus talk about this and how they both started to integrate more of the outdoorsy stuff into their training. You hear this narrative a lot of the time that if you want to be an elite crossfitter then you have to do other stuff stuff other than classes. You have to do really bespoke programming and lots of workouts throughout the day and sacrifice so much out of your life. But here, James Newbury is kind of living proof that you can just do classes once you've built up that capacity and strength that he's built, that it is an option to just continue to do classes and dabble in whatever you want to do. It might not be the most effective way and it might not be the way you're going to become the fittest on earth. But what really struck me is when James was talking about the experience
experiences he's having doing stuff like this triathlon or an obstacle course race or whatever he wants to dabble in and experiencing those events with his friends. He's spoken about how fitness in the context of like elite CrossFit hasn't been a priority and that he's okay with that. And I think often we can be seen as like failing in some way if we admit that fitness in, in the sense of getting better at CrossFit isn't a priority. Whereas fitness in a general sense, and by that I mean being fit for life, remains a priority for us even if getting better at CrossFit isn't. Okay, so brand new information. I didn't know this was gonna happen when I made this video. I was just making a video on James Newbury. I thought it was really cool that he came third and then this happened. So basically yesterday he was third and today he is now 84th and for workout three he's got zero reps which means that's basically like a disqualification right and it's really unusual for CrossFit to give like a complete no score. Normally they give you like a bigger penalty or they take a few reps off or they've changed the time or something but he's literally got zero reps and the reason for this I don't know whether this is certain I've just had this on the grapevine nobody has confirmed this, this is not official I have heard that his video cut out halfway through and obviously that means he's got an incomplete video and that he is trying to appeal it which makes sense I see why you may not redo the attempt especially if we did it later on in the day and obviously because he's not taking CrossFit so seriously anymore we don't really know whether he's interested in doing the semi-finals or not but it does suck that would absolutely suck and I've had this happen to me before in a qualifier for a workout and this is why I don't trust those apps that record and I tend to always record things with two cameras if I am going to record something for a qualifier which is rare now because I'm not that into competing anymore but that I know I know how much that sucks so I really hope that James get it sorted out there obviously was a judge in the room that can confirm that he did all of the reps and finished it I don't know I'm not one of those people that likes to comment on the standards and the rules and the judging I just thought James's story was really interesting and I do feel sorry for him with this if it's gonna move him out of qualifying position that would be completely gutting if that's what he's going for for me this whole situation made me feel like I almost have permission to do what I want to do within my CrossFit journey and to to go to CrossFit three times in one week and then maybe go cycling or swimming or climbing or something else instead of one of my sessions and not feel guilt about it because it's still working towards my general goal of fitness and as James has proven in doing that I might not actually get worse. I've been a bit stuck with my fitness goals lately. I did a weightlifting cycle last year and I competed in weightlifting and I qualified for the English Championships and then inevitably I got bored of just doing Olympic weightlifting. Whatever's perfect for you right now may not be the thing that fires you up in 12 months. That's so key. This year at the start of the year I've been working a little bit towards my gymnastics but not so much like the butterfly pull-ups and the handstand push-ups. I've been more interested in just increasing my strict pull-ups. I haven't really found exactly what I'm interested in yet and then I did the open and got held back by those wall walks and instead of having that thing that a lot of people have which is motivation to get better better at wall walks. I had the complete opposite. I had this realisation that I don't care about getting better at wall walks. I can do them and that's enough for me. But I think this is my new training goal, that I want to just dabble in lots of other things outside of CrossFit as well as continuing to do CrossFit and just to see what happens and like use myself as a bit of an experiment and find joy in doing other sports and then seeing how that impacts and affects my CrossFit performance. So if you're interested in more content around that, please do subscribe to the channel. If you want to watch one of my weightlifting competition vlogs, watch this video next right here. Thank you for watching guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.